right? And three, two, one, door. We hired Kevin Nash, uh, a professional wrestler and also a very good actor, surprisingly good actor. Hello. To play the Russian. We were inspired by the comic and the fight that goes on in the comic. Uh, it was really creative and a great character. We wanted to utilize that as best as we could. Words that me and Jonathan came up with to describe the fight was a horrific clown show. A, a storyboard artist and I um, in worked in Los Angeles. We boarded all of the action of the entire picture. I had a fully articulated storyboarded Russian fight sequence. I knew what I wanted. We were then able to give the storyboards to Gary Himes, and he started having rehearsals. And he found out that there were some aspects of the interior of the tenement apartment that could be made uh, to better use. So he started adding things to the Russian fight sequence. And it just got better and better. Hey, Charlie. Kev Kevin's incredible. We couldn't have done a lot of the stuff that we did if, if uh, Kevin wasn't Kevin because that stuff, it's like a dance, you know, and if your partner can't dance, it's going to look ugly. I, I was playing catch up with Kevin the, the entire time. Kevin is uh, an enormous man. I mean, he's six foot ten and over 300 pounds, but he was a basketball player and thus is very light on his feet. He's very nimble. So he was able to control his, his movements and also the movements of Thomas Jane in this brutal fight. So when he had his hands around his, Thomas Jane's neck, for instance, Action. they could give the, 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 their movements a sense of tremendous ferocity and, and, uh, and, and violence, um, but at the same time not hurt each other. <laughs> Kevin, Kevin not hurt Thomas Jane because he outweighs him by 130 pounds. Which I think that this was originally written to be a little bit more lighthearted of a fight scene, but Tom's his intensity was so good on it, and he, you know, he does, he does everything. I mean, I thought that there'd be a stunt double doing, you know, 90 percent of this, and you know, Thomas is doing the whole fight scene. So, and he brings that, when you know, when 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 a an actor like like that puts that kind of intensity in every scene, you know, it brings out the best of you too. And uh, it's been a pleasure to work with him. We kept wider than normal. We didn't rely on insert shots as much as other fight sequences. In other words, we, through the rehearsals with Thomas Jane and, and Kevin Nash, we had them do the fully articulated moves where you see both actors. And, to, and Conrad and I committed to filming it and letting the actors rehearse, getting really good at the articulated moves, and then stepping back just a little bit and filming it. We picked up the camera in our hand and, you know, basically chased the fight up and down all around these, uh, you know, apartments and tenements. The fight was really dictated by um, the actors because, I'll be honest with you, I've, I've done a lot of fights in my life, but I've never done a fight in which 99 and 9 tenths percent of the entire fight was done with the two principal actors. That just really adds tremendous credibility to the fight itself. Um, uh, we were very fortunate. Uh, in fact, uh, there was one instance where I, uh, we have Frank Castle being thrown through a wall by the Russian. And originally I was going to use uh, Michael and uh, Thomas' stunt double for it. Thomas said, you know, think I could do that? And, you know, thought about it. I said, yeah, that would be fine. Don't do one of these. I'll drive through and leave early with your foot way back here. So we set to do it. And in all my years, I've never seen anyone go through a wall like this. Three, two, one, action! It was so powerful and so dynamic. I mean, you look at that piece of footage, it's so incredibly violent. I mean, I couldn't wait for them to say cut to get out there to be sure he was okay. You know, it's the first time tripping through a wall. You don't know what to expect. He's coming through the wall with high velocity, and he made it to the other side of the wall like we talked about. He was supposed to go to the other side and bounce off and come back, but his angle of attack when he came through was not what we expected, and I think it's what he expected. But still, he got his arm up, he protected himself up, and it looked very violent. It was a spectacular shot. Bottom line is, if, if Thomas were to get hurt, it shuts the entire film down. So, you know, it's, it's, there is a fine line there. Part of my job is to 
recognize where we're pushing the boundaries and I have great communication with Thomas. We'll discuss it and then based on all the parameters, I'll, I'll make the decision if it, you know, Thomas should do it or if it should be the stunt person. I would say the most dangerous stunt we did in that sequence was when they fell through the stair rail, hit the wall, and then tumbled to the bottom, which uh, consequently uh, ends up breaking the Russian's neck. I just wanted to be sure that, you know, none of our guys broke their neck doing it. Do I have anything on my face here? Right here? It's a little bit sore. Irritated. I don't want to hit you, though. A little Calamine lotion, I'll be fine, I think. All right. Bringing the uh, Russian through the railing, the whole idea was to get a lot of energy going, going for it, making sure we make it to this wall, and making sure that from point A where we started to point B where we land, that we're in the position that the director wants us in. We decided just to go ahead and pretty much shoot the rehearsal and see what happens. You can try to rehearse that stuff, but in this situation, Jeff's about a 315-pound man. If something did go wrong and Jeff landed on Mike, now we just injured Mike you know, with a very large man. So they just did the walk-ups together, make sure everybody's first part of the, the gag were in step and in tune, and you know, that they can make it work together. Okay, here we go. All right, set. Ready, guys? Yeah. And roll sound, please. Two or four, take one, off speed cameras. Two or four, take one, and take camera off speed Okay, and three, two, one, action! And cut! We have thumbs up, thumbs up, guys. Everybody okay? Here's up. Everyone all right? All right, we have a thumbs up. He drove them all the way clear across. I know, I know. Sure. Tremendous. Well, we got tremendous, guys. Right? Tremendous. Very nice. Okay, Very nice. so. Tremendous. Nice job. We checked the gates on yeah. this? Yes. <laughs> it takes a very unique individual to become a, a stunt performer. 